Now, while we've reported on how the care sector feels like a forgotten service, the government has stepped in with a £600 million fund to prevent the spread of the virus. In West Sussex, care homes have been given almost £1,000 per bed to pay for a range of measures. But providers who send carers into people's homes are still waiting to hear how they may benefit too. Sophia Seth has more. Hi, I'm Tamara. I'm here to see Joyce today. Um, it's the first visit of three that I have today. I've been seeing her for six weeks so far. Tamara is one of 70 who work for Home Instead in West Sussex. They help people at home, also known as domiciliary care. And the government is trying to help the care sector with a £600 million fund for infection control measures to keep people safe. In West Sussex, the County Council has already passed on more than £3 million to care homes, but domiciliary providers say they've been left in the dark. Not having access to funding that we know has been distributed is really frustrating. As I'm sure I'm not alone in the domiciliary care sector, the home care sector, in feeling that home care is an afterthought um, in this pandemic um, and actually we're looking after the most vulnerable group of so in society. The Musebrook House Care Home in Littlehampton is in line for £50,000 and it's very welcome. It can help towards staffing or isolation measures, but manager Sue says the list of approved measures is too restrictive, no mention of equipment that can detect COVID-19. We are looking at getting um, an industrial steam cleaner. We're also looking to get thermal CCTV. And that is one of the things actually that is very grey. Some local authorities such as Essex are accepting those within the grant, but other, home, other local authorities are actually saying no. So we're at the stage at the moment where we've paid out um, a vast sum of money for this with the potential that possibly they will say, actually, no, that doesn't come under the, the criteria. West Sussex County Council says it's due to make a decision on the remaining infection control funding within days that could benefit supported living as well as domiciliary care. For Simon, it can't come soon enough. I hope to open a dialogue with the council um, to explain what our needs are so that we can receive some of that funding and account for it accordingly. Sophia Seth, BBC South Today in West Sussex.